welcome back to my channel. I'm Lindsay, this is Miller's Critter Cabin, and in this video I'll be introducing you to our boas. This is Titan, a male boa constrictor imperata, or BCI, of gigantic proportions. This impressive boy is approximately nine feet of pure strength, with average length for the species being between six and eight feet. Although less common, they can reach as much as 12 or 13 feet, with females usually being bigger than males. This chunky boy is a large male and more than deserving of his name. Despite his natural capabilities, he's a truly calm and sweet-natured snake. Titan is a common boa, not to be confused with a red tail boa, which is a boa constrictor constrictor or BCC. And his species originates from South America, particularly Colombia, and has a darker tail. He displays rich terracotta and salmon pink coloration on his head and underbelly, turning darker with blue hues with those zombie-like eyes when in a shed cycle. Now, around seven years old, Titan came to us as a rehome a couple of years ago and can be expected to live as much as 40 years in captivity. Home for Titan is a six foot by two foot by two foot enclosure in our reptile cabin. But for ease of handling, we bring him into the cottage regularly to explore. We'll be recording a reptile room tour of the cabin in the very near future. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see our reptile room. Medusa, our sassy female boa, came to us again as a rehome, along with her brother Carl. At approximately three years of age, this beautiful girl is around five feet in length, and home is a four foot by two foot by two foot enclosure in the cabin. She might still be a little bit sassy when she's outside of the enclosure, but inside it she's every bit as inquisitive and fun as the other boas. Nice hat. The most challenging of our boas, we're still working to make handling less stressful for her as she appears to feel threatened by the warmth of skin to scale contact, hence the gloves and much of this footage being filmed within her enclosure, but she's making great progress when handled with gloves. Medusa displays the lightest coloration of the siblings with mostly pale grey scales and an almost completely white underbelly while retaining the contrasting characteristic dark tail. With eyes like ice cool galaxies, she's a truly stunning snake. And this is Carr, our younger of the male boas, brother of Medusa, and the much calmer of the siblings. Also kept in his own four foot by two foot by two foot enclosure in the cabin, these heavy bodied snakes are limited in the amount of enrichment they can safely have within their enclosures. They're prone to pulling down decor and trashing everything in their path due to their considerable weight. But they do love a good soak in water, so we ensure that each boa has a deep tub in their enclosure. 
scene here, slightly darker than usual, car is in blue, which means he's in a shed cycle, as you can see from the milky coloration on his belly scales. And despite his eyes also being milked over, he's still calm and friendly, no problem at all being handled. As I've said previously, we handle our boas in our home regularly to give them plenty of enrichment and engagement. As the siblings grow, their enclosures will eventually be upgraded to 6 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot, the same as Titans. Normally a salmon pink, his underbelly is currently very milky, uh, which means it's getting ready to shed. And once shed, one of my favourite characteristics of the boa is that beautiful rainbow iridescence you can see here, just as the light hits the scales, just right. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know with your likes. And we've got so much more to come, so please do subscribe. It costs nothing, but it means a lot. With that being said, in my next video, we're going to be meeting some curious corn snakes. <laughs>